A and B crew, so we're gonna jump right in. So I'm starting off on an afro that I had in cornrows and I just took them out. So I am parting the front section of my hair from the back section, not quite half, a little less than half. The hair that I'll be working with today is the Kinky Course Clipping set 16 inches from Better Length. And as you guys can see, I can roll my hair going vertical. Normally, I do horizontal, but for this particular style, I wanted my hair to lay a certain kind of way. So I'm starting off with a clip-in that has four clips at the back, and I'm just going to attach the clip-ins to my braids. Basically, you just fit your clip-ins where you can get them in. The Kinky Course Clip-In Set comes with 10 clip-ins, and you can do a full style with one bundle. It is 195 grams. I did co-wash these off of camera, and I did blow dry them, and then this is just the texture in this natural state. So it definitely does match with type 4 natural hair, which I love. So yeah, I'm just putting like the smaller clip-ins at the bottom and then I'm gonna move into the clip-ins that have five clips on them and attach those at the front. Now you can use color, you can dye these, you can use heat on these clip-ins. So I apply six clip-ins to the back section of my head. Moving on to the front section, I decided to go ahead and make a part down the middle. And I did part of some hair in the back, y'all, so that the tracks will cover. So I'm just applying the shorter clip-ins to the front. So that clip has two clip-ins on it. And I applied another clip-in in that same spot. And then basically I just start by grabbing the beginning of my real hair and braiding. And as I braid, I add the clip in here into the braid. But yeah, so I only use two clip ends for this section. Just making sure that I gather in my real hair and I'm making sure I'm smoothing everything up into the clip in here as you guys can see and then I'm literally just gonna braid my hair just going all the way well the clip in here <laughs> all the way down and as y'all can see I clip the hair in the back away so it wouldn't be in my way two clip ins that I have left I'm gonna do the exact same thing on that section of my hair So as y'all can see, I just start braiding my real hair at the front and just make sure you guys are taking your time, making sure that you gather all of the hair into the braid because you don't want to have to go back and, you know, re-braid it because this is some thick hair that you have to braid within your hair. So you just want to make sure that you're gathering everything. And don't mind my faces, y'all. That's just how... <laughs> how I look when I'm like braiding my hair and I'm focused and I'm trying to get it done. So as you guys can see, I left a little hair out at the top. I'm just spraying some Tresemme Thermal Creations on it and I'm gonna blow dry that little bit of hair to like blend in with the clipping hair. Now I should have left a little bit more hair out y'all. That was definitely not enough hair. So leave a little bit more hair out. I mean you still couldn't see my track but just to be on the safe side just leave a little bit more hair out and then I put some got to be little free spray and I'm just gonna go back in with some edge booster pomade and I'm gonna lay my edges down. But yeah like I was saying just leave a little bit more hair out in the top. Alright, so I went ahead and put my scarf on to tie everything down and hold it into place. Decided to go ahead and do some big loose wand curls. 
and yeah I'm eating some candy by the way but anyway so yeah I'm just gonna do these big wand curls now I did not add anything on the hair y'all I didn't put no heat protectant I didn't put anything on this hair y'all and this hair holds a curl really really well it didn't take me long to curl up the hair you can also um, do heatless curls with like flexi rods but um, I just opted to use my curling wand and I really like how the curls came out So once I was done curling my hair, I took my scarf off and everything and I decided to add two wooden beads on the ends of the braids. I thought that would be a really cute touch and I did that on both sides and I just attached the beads with a rubber band. Go back in with some oil sheen and spray some oil sheen on my hair and this is how the hair turned out you guys really really pretty i love this hairstyle so much so make sure you guys check out betterlymph.com everything about them will be in the description box below the link to the hair will be linked in the description box below as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it was helpful thanks for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye